So what we're looking at here is the uh, watering dish. As you can see, it holds about a litre of water. It's just an old Chinese container. And it's got two sticks and a rock holding the sticks down in the water. They're very thick, sort of shafted. You can see from the size of my finger here. But that there is uh, large enough to uh, anything but weigh anything or be broken. The, the principle is, is as the water is level is up the top, or the water level, water level goes down, that there's somewhere for the bees to swim to. And the rock, of course, stops the, uh, the container from blowing away. That other container that's underneath it there, I've got to take that off there. And, uh, but that's not quite it. What's important underneath it is that. That's dirt with a little bit of water spilled onto it. And that's just to create humus and smell and rot, so that that emits a smell of both carbon dioxide from the rotting and uh, any sort of gases from rotting, like methane. So they can smell that water very easily there. That's a much better system. It's also located in the, the shade, and uh, that prevents the water from uh, evaporating away too fast. The, the other one behind me I often need to top up because I've had to come around sort of once or twice a day to be absolutely sure there's water there. Uh, this is beside the Karnaka hive. It looks getting a bit bright there. Where is it? There we are. That one there has sort of lost its water by midday and I just filled it again. Uh, actually, it's about one o'clock in the afternoon, and there's a little bit of water there, but just sort of like a trace around it. While they don't need much water, uh, that's, uh, these are the logistical problems of keeping bees, they, they must have water available at all times. Uh, I'm about to build a couple more of those uh, container versions there, so that the bees can swim to the corner. The, way, the reason I like this particular design here is it's just the lid off a... Uh, industrial plaster box, uh, pl industrial plaster uh, packet bucket. So it's very shallow across the top of the, uh, the lid with the rim around it and that allows a quantity of water to last there uh, but w if they land in that they won't drown. Anyway that's the watering technique, I've, I've to build some more.